everybody, Ann here, sitting here in the tiny house, having my coffee with all of you. And guess what? It's raining, so that garden bed is going to get all rained on. I'm going to go take a look at it in a little bit, and i got to go outside, make sure the water catchment is all okay, there's no leaves in it and whatnot. So it's supposed to rain all day long, so I think today is going to be an indoor activity day. Don't know exactly what I'm going to get done, but I do know there's a couple things I need to do. And so, actually for breakfast, this is going to sound weird, but somebody had given me, actually Cody and Hannah had given me a bunch of these little cans of soup that they don't like. And it's um, basically vegetable soup that has a tomato stock. So I put three cans of that along with a big jar of my uh, fermented veggies. It has um, carrots, cauliflower, broccoli, um, cabbage, kind of like sauerkraut. And so I threw that in. Um, I threw in a can of chicken. And it's, oh, and I put in some split green peas because they'll cook up pretty fast and it's over there boiling. It's going to be so delicious. I can't wait to have it. So anyhow, I need to go look at that garden bed and I need to make sure my water catchment is doing okay. Look, my little cedar Christmas tree is getting watered. Hooray! Yeah, I, I brought these solar lights out here and they really lit up the steps very well last night. And uh, so Mr. Lucas actually has planted three of these down across the front of his uh, yard, so I'm going to do the same thing. I was going to go out today and dig a bunch of them, but I'm not going to do that today because I think it's just going to be too wet. I don't know. That might make it a better day to do it. But yeah, look at this. It is just raining all over it. This is great. I put a few of these lights out here too. This is wonderful. So all of this is going to get nice and wet. I'm going to take those bamboo leaves over there. I'm actually going to take them off of the stalks because I think the stalks might just take too long to compost down. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to do some research. But I need to get some more green stuff on top of this and layer some more things like eggshells and coffee grounds. Um, I'm going to be asking my neighbors to save their coffee grounds for me. So this is working great. I'm so happy. Oh yeah, this is working great. Actually, every day I come out here and get leaves out of it. But I'm getting some more water. It's coming down kind of slow right now. This is still half full. And this, eh, it's a little bit more than half full. I don't know how much rain I'm going to get today, so we'll just have to wait and see. You know what I'm considering doing, you guys? Breaking this down and actually making it a four burner. It won't really be a rocket stove then, because really a rocket stove is where you have one column of concentrated heat. It'll just be like a big outdoor grill. But you know what? Thanksgiving's coming up, so I need to look for some more cinder blocks and see if I can get that done. I don't know if I'll do it today, but we'll see. Even this barrel fills up pretty well. It's got about three quarters full. I don't know, maybe two thirds full. And it's just getting more. So yeah, I got plenty of water. This netting has been working great to keep the chickens out. I am really, really very happy with it. And the water just goes down right through it. it. You can see a few of the raindrops are still attaching to it, but that's okay. It's still keeping it a nice moist environment in there. And yeah, I think it might protect from the, the cold a little bit. So thank you so much, Doreen, for sending me those. And see, there's these over here. The chickens are no longer able to peck at my vegetables, which makes me very, very happy. I got some onions growing. And you see those turnips down there? They are trying to come back. Oh, I hope they do come back. I just want one homegrown turnip this year. That's all I want. And then next year I'll know better how to do things. Yep, chives are doing okay. So what I'm going to hopefully do, get rid of that trash junk over there, is eventually fence in basically this entire area. From about right here all the way down past the tiny house. Across here, I'd like to build a little gate right here. Bring it past here, giving a little bit of room right here for the chickens to come and go. And then bring it all the way about out here so that I can have kind of a decent garden area. And then all the way over here with maybe another gate out back here so that I can, you know, come and go f through this area. So now that I know I can put something up like that, I don't think it's going to be too hard. That netting right there is just fine, and I think that that'll work just fine to keep the chickens out. So, yep. 
You know what I'm going to do, you guys? I think that I am going to just take all of this soil from this bed and this bed and end up putting it over there because I'm going to make some adjustments to the bottoms of these raised garden beds. Remember how I put screens on the bottom of them because I was afraid all the soil would just come rushing out? Well, actually what I'm going to do is take those screens off and repurpose them for something else and dig down deeper, especially this one. Give myself a few more inches of depth to these garden beds and then just layer them like I did with the other one. Same with this one. And I'm thinking that I will be able to grow things better if I just make them a little bit deeper, retain a little bit more moisture. So that's what I'm going to do. Yep, that's where the soil is going to come from, from this bed and that bed. It's all going to go over there. Oh my gosh, I am, I feel inclined to almost want to do it today, even though it's raining. I might. <laughs> Who knows? Oh my gosh, you guys, it's still raining. I've been doing like word search, crossword puzzles and whatnot. Judy's like ready to bounce off the walls, so I got to find some indoor stuff to do. Looks like it's fire starter time. Yep, in a double boiler, I've got my extra wax down in there and I think I'm gonna just make some of those today. Remember all the fire starter supplies that the lovely Miss Donna sent me? Well, I'm gonna try and make at least a few of those today. And yep, I just kept it in the box, but I put a little piece of foil on the bottom of it. I'm just gonna pour the wax all over the top of it. I don't know if I've got enough wax to get all of these done. Oh, I sure do hope so. I may have to burn Mr. Frosty. Melt him down. I don't know, he's so cute. I just don't think I can do it. Please don't melt me. I don't want to die. Oh no, I've ran out of wax and I've only got all of these done. All of those, those just need to be flipped over and put a little bit more on the underside. And I still have so much more left to go. I've got like about a dozen more of these to go. So I don't know, Mr. Frosty. Frosty the Snowman, smiling to the bitter end. Thank you for your contribution. Okay, that was lame. But just look at all those beautiful new fire starters I've got. I've got a ton of them. So thank you, Frosty the Snowman. And also thank you, the lovely Miss Donna B. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry. I know my mind. It's twisted. In fact, I'm probably going to have the whole internet coming in telling me how cruel I am because I killed Frosty the Snowman to make fire starters. In fact, I challenge, I challenge anybody who has a YouTube channel to tell me how awful I am because I killed Frosty in a fire, basically. Anyhow, that's all I got for y'all. See you in the next video. For watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.